Hello again. Uh, sorry for the delay in uh, this review. Uh, had a few things that come to mind. Um, not long since came back off holiday. Then a couple of days after that went to hospital. So we uh, being out of action, but back to normal. Um, this time, uh, again, we're looking on the Commodore 64. It's a game that, to be honest, I've never seen in action before. And it was quite good on Commodore 64. And I never read it back uh, in the day when I used to own Spectrum. And on Spectrum reviews in magazines, it got a lot of send mixed reviews. Uh, it would be quite nice, I would think. I don't think it really went down right well on Spectrum. Um, I can see why. I don't think uh, it would have ended up colour right good on Spectrum on this type of game in this isometric view. But on Commodore, it's really good. Really nice uh, music, really good arcade experience. And uh, yeah, we'll give it a try. Here we go. As you can see, it's nicely animated before it starts as well, as uh, all good Pac-Man games should be. Uh, nice music throughout. Um, main character Pac-Man is animated really, really nicely. Uh, I'm quite impressed with this one on Commodore 64. They've done a really, really good job. Uh, the thing that I'm not a fan of, if I'm honest, is that Pac-Man can jump over ghosts. Um, it might just be me who's been a bit old school, but I can't really see point to that. It takes most of the challenge out of the game. You know, you've got power pills anyway. Um, so, you know, giving ability to jump over ghosts. No, I don't really, I don't really buy into that one. I mean, you don't have to use it, you could just play it as you normally would do on Pac-Man. Uh, to be honest, I think that's what I would do. Whether that's a good idea or not, I don't know, but like I said, I think it's more in tradition with Pac-Man game, that one. Uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a really good game, this. Uh, like I said, I'm really impressed. You get these little cutscenes, and, and again, they've done a really nice job on that one. Uh, we'll go up next level. They've um, done a nice tune again using the SIG chip on the good old 64. It never ceases to amaze me how uh, good um, you know they can make use of that. It's uh, really, really nice uh, programming when use it properly on games. Right, let's see if we can get that. Looks like a toffee or sweet up there. Let's see if we can get it. Yeah. But yeah, I won't be playing this much longer. I mean, everybody knows how Pac-Man works. Uh, but as you can see with gameplay, really, really nice conversion. I'm sure this came out in arcades, this version. I might be wrong, but I'm, I'm sure it did. I'm sure this was an arcade uh, conversion. But yeah, I can see why the Spectrum mod didn't really get great reviews, if I remember rightly. Uh, probably not with animation, because Spectrum used to animate quite well, but this game relies a lot on colour, really. You know, you've got Batman yellow, you've got different ghosts. So, yeah, I can see it being a, a little bit of a mess on, to, on Specky. So, yeah, I'll um, give it so some marks out of 10 for different aspects of the game. Graphics, well, like I said, they've done a really, really nice job. Um, Graphics on Commodore 64 can sometimes look a little bit blocky, a little bit washed out, but I think they've just got it right on this one. Uh, so I'm going to give that an 8. Sound, nice uh, nice music throughout. I don't know if there's an option where you can just have sound effects, there probably is, but I've just left it as it is. 
but yeah, again, the program sounds really well. I'm going to give that an 8 as well. Uh, the overall gameplay, sorry about that, it's been four blocks ringing. Um, overall gameplay, I'm going to make it a full house and give that an 8 as well. So, there we go, that's Pat Nader here on the Commodore 64. Thanks for your viewing, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.